Headaches can be more than just a nuisance. It can be debilitating and disruptive quality of life. Hence, knowing what type of headache you have can aid in preventing it. Are you aware that the number one cause of a headache is dehydration? Yes, look at it this way. View your brain as a sponge. As long as it's nice and moist, it glides easily. However, when that sponge dries out, the edges become hard, it pulls down, and it causes irritation around the brain. That's what happens with dehydration. Hence, knowing the type of headache you have is key. As an emergency medicine physician, I deal with headaches all the time. There are three types of headaches that we are uniquely concerned about. One is a hemorrhagic stroke. That's simply when a blood vessel ruptures in your head and causes a horrible, sudden 10 out of 10 headache, and that's a surgical emergency. The other one is caused by an ischemic stroke. That means the blood supply to part of your brain is cut off, and that can lead to a headache as well. And then finally, a meningeal headache. In other words, someone who has meningitis or they're developing it, the meningeal layer, the layer that protects the brain, it's inflamed and it causes meningitis. And that is an emergency that we must start IV antibiotics right away. Again, there are many different types of headaches. Let's get into them. Number one, it's a tension headache. The most common type of headache characterized by a dull, aching sensation all over the head. The causes are stress, anxiety, poor posture, and muscle tension. Symptoms, constant pressure around the forehead, the back of the neck, or even the shoulders. Type two are migraines. A severe headache often accompanied by nausea, vomiting, and sensitivity to light and sound. It's often caused by genetic factors, hormonal changes, stress, certain foods and drinks and environmental triggers. In fact, there are many women that during their menstrual cycle, they experience migraines. Migraines are on the severe end of headaches. The symptoms, throbbing pain on one side of the head, visual disturbances, and extreme sensitivity to light, sound, and smell. Migraine headaches often require more than just the typical Motrin and Tylenol. Sometimes, they need additional medication in a class called the sumenotryptophans. Those are medications that are uniquely made for migraine sufferers. They come in the pill form, injectable form, and the nasal form. Type three, cluster headaches. Intense headaches that occur in cyclical patterns of clusters. Causes, unknown exact cause, but it's hypothesized to involve the body's biological clock, meaning the hypothalamus. Symptoms, severe pain around one eye watering eyes, nasal congestion, and restlessness. Type four, sinus headaches. It's caused by sinus infections or inflammation resulting in pressure and pain in the sinus areas. The main causes are sinusitis as well as allergies and infections. Most sinus infections are viral and so antibiotics don't generally help with sinus infections. The symptoms are the deep, constant pain in the cheekbones, forehead, or bridge of the nose, along with nasal discharge and facial swelling, and at times, numbness on your upper teeth. Type five, rebound headaches. Headaches that occur from overuse of pain medication causes regular use of headache relief medications such as acetaminophen, aspirin, or ibuprofen. And by the way, you should rarely use aspirin for a headache. The symptoms, frequent or daily headaches, often worsening after the effects of medication wear off. Type six, hormonal headaches. These headaches are linked to hormonal changes commonly occurring in women, especially during their menstrual cycle. Other causes include menopause as well as pregnancy. The symptoms are often as severe as migraine. Type seven, caffeine-related headaches. This is caused by a sudden caffeine withdrawal or excessive caffeine consumption. In other words, you suddenly change your caffeine levels. A good example of this would be for those of us who drink a cup of coffee every single morning. If you miss a morning, you may experience a withdrawal caffeine headache. And the easiest way to fix that is to drink a cup of coffee. The symptoms of a caffeine headache are a throbbing headache, fatigue, difficulty concentrating, and even irritability. Type eight, exertional headaches. This is triggered by physical activity and exertion. 
cause intense physical activity, such as running, coughing, or even sexual activity. The symptoms are throbbing pain, usually occurring on both sides of the head during or after physical activity. Share some of your experiences with your headaches. What have been some of the cures and remedies that have helped you? And any healthcare providers, please leave a comment or share some insights. For more health tips, be sure to follow.